Whether you like horror comedies or straight carnage candy, the Evil Dead franchise has something for you to enjoy. Let's rank it from worst to best. No! What's going on, guys and gals, and welcome back to Good Real Hunting. It's your boy Brad. The Brett Man's right over there. Evil Dead Rise came out this past week, and we are going to rank the franchise yet again on the on the on the channel here. We actually did it a long time ago. One of the first, actually, might have been the first ranking we ever did. But it's time to redo it, man. And maybe our thoughts have changed a little bit over the last couple of years, Bertie. Yeah, man, we're going to be freaking doing it right. And uh, you know, we've done our research. We opened up some Evil Dead books, the uh, Necrocons, and all that. We did our research, and I think we're going to be more confident with this uh, ranking this time around. So, Brad, without further ado, let's freaking go ahead and start this. And uh, you want to go with your number five? Yeah, man. Uh, last place for me is actually going to be Army of Darkness. And this is, I got to say, right out the bat, I, I really enjoy all these movies. I think they're all like four stars and above. So it, it was actually quite a tough ranking to make but in the worst in the in the fifth spot here i do have army of darkness i think it gets a little bit too comedic for me i do love the horror comedy aspect of ash's character but that one just goes really far you know you get miniature ashes running around all over the place um skeletons running around like it's cool it's fun I, it's not bad but in this in this list it's my last my number five is also army of darkness i really enjoyed this movie uh really good comedic moments like have a good time with ash in a medieval setting and all that but kind of like to brad right here uh it does get a little too comedic at times i feel like it distracts from what really the evil death franchise is really supposed to be about and uh even though it's good great time but compared to the other ones we're about ready to talk about uh it does not hold up to par to them fourth place for me is going to be evil dead from 2013 the remake sequel whatever you want to call it um yeah you know like i said we watched it on the channel not too long ago i really enjoy it um it's brutal as shit you know it's got a lot of the the best kills in the franchise some of the most gore in the franchise uh you know the most blood maybe um you know only comparison would be you know I, I, I guess Evil Dead Rise when it comes to, to total, you know, carnage, I guess. You know, the first one's got to go into four, too. But from a, from a modern standpoint, um, it's a great time. Really enjoy it. I just don't like the characters that much. So I kind of lose interest in it after, you know, I don't know, two thirds of the way through. I'm always kind of I kind of get a little bored with it. So, um, yeah, that's where I leave it. I You know, fourth place. Still solid, though. Alrighty, and uh, not bad pick at all, my friend. Uh, my number four is going to be Evil Dead 2. And uh, for Evil Dead 2, uh, again, it's more on the comedic side of things. And you can already tell already, I'm not a fan of the comedic side of the Evil Dead franchise. Like, I respect it. It's not like I don't dislike it, but just for me, I am more of the serious tone of the Evil Dead franchise. So uh, my number four is going to be Evil Dead 2. And I will admit this, this is the best Ash we get the evil dead franchise and possibly i would even say the best character in the evil dead franchise absolutely like no one could touch freaking ash the man and especially his ultimate line of groovy and this is a groovy movie indeed uh just compared to the other ones i have uh definitely not for me so my number four is evil dead 2 shoot yeah all right top three these guys can actually shift around quite a bit over the next few months newcomer evil dead rise is going to be number three for me Although I will say it has potential to be like maybe even the best. I don't know. We'll we'll just have to kind of wait and see. Let it marinate. I've only seen it one time, so I don't want to jump to any conclusions and put it over anything I'm going to regret later. But I think three is a good spot for it. I mean, I really do. It's got the carnage of 2013, but they add some good characters, a good family dynamic to it. So I really appreciate it for that. It's scary at times. It's got some nice creepy moments, some good atmosphere, good setting in the skyscraper or the you know the high rise or whatever. It's really cool. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of good callbacks to the franchise. It's kind of a love letter to the franchise, if you will. And anytime you can throw in some some callbacks to some of my favorite movies, you're doing pretty good. So I'm going to go number three, Evil Dead Rise. Hell yeah, man. What a way to rise up to the occasion with that movie, man. Um, same here with Brad. My top three can easily shift all over the place, but I'm just going based off how I'm feeling with these particular three right now. My number three, and this has been the hard one that I've been contemplating with back and forth before we did this video, but I think I made a decision now. My number three 
is Evil Dead from 2013. Uh, kind of like the sequel, the remake, the requel, whatever you want to call uh, 2013. But it's still an absolutely bloody good time. Very disturbing, very gory, very nasty. And definitely just... It's the ultimate love letter to uh, the original um, The Evil Dead movie with the cabin setting. We get a great character in Mia and her story. Like, the story makes sense in this movie. It's just, uh, for me, like, just... I don't know. It's really hard to explain. It's going to be hard to explain on the Slash Out too why I like uh, the next movie more than I do this one. Uh, but just how I'm feeling right now, my number three is the 2013 Evil Dead shoot yeah all right man number two for me the evil dead the classic the one that kicked it all off and again i don't really have any connection to these first two movies in the franchise so like i said it, these could shift um i didn't watch these until later in life i didn't grow up on them or anything like that but every time i watch the evil dead i do appreciate it a little bit more I, I just the charm about it really and it's hard to say that it's a charming movie because it's so brutal and so gory and whatnot and gross but it is it's got that charm about it because it's such a low budget film that they really put a lot of heart behind um and you can see that when you're watching it and i really appreciate it for that and i respect it more and more every time i watch it um i get more and more into to what they were going for and it's just a really well directed movie man uh, so i gotta give i gotta give the evil dead the number two spot today Man, and you know what? That is an absolutely fantastic spot to put it in. I do not blame you for it. And why even your number one? We know what number one is at this point. But my number two, man, and this, again, difficult decision. Uh, so my number two is going to be Evil Dead Rise, the newest uh, installation of uh, the Evil Dead franchise. The newest entry to the Evil Dead franchise is Evil Dead Rise. And man, what actually separates this with 2013 It's just I like the core group of characters a little bit more. Like the family dynamic. Like it gives us a reason to be emotionally like invested into the characters. Like with Beth, uh, the mother, and the three children and all that. Versus like the 2013 one where you're just really only investing in one character and Mia, while the other ones, you're like, ah, oh, they can fuck off and all that. You really don't get that kind of feeling, but Evil Dead Rise, another solid intro, like, kind of like entry into the Evil Dead franchise, so that keeps going how great this franchise is. I had a splash of blood good time with this one, with Evil Dead Rise. Definitely, to me, has the best intro card of all of horror. I'll go ahead and throw that out there as well, and uh, just, again, great time. Uh, Beth is a great character, so and the mother, gosh, oh my, the scariest dead eye to date. So my number two is Evil Dead Rise. Oh, you have a mother, yeah, man. <laughs> good, I'd be a good one for forty X, man. I, I love my voice. mother. <laughs> uh, number one for me, um, it's still Evil Dead Two. I, you know, that's where I had it before. Uh, this yes. I have it. Mm. <laughs> That's where I have it uh, today. It's just, to me, it's just a really entertaining movie. I think it does, it ba it plays the balancing act really well of comedic and, and and horror. There's still a lot of scary stuff in it. A lot of scary moments, a lot of good jump scares, a lot of good creepy deadites in the air, but it does balance it with that com uh, comedy aspect. So you could really just get a little bit of both when you go through this movie and it's just entertaining. There's not a lot going on from a plot standpoint, but that's okay. Cause you just have Ash doing crazy ass shit. And like you said, this is peak Ash right here, uh, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and he just carries the movie. So there's blood everywhere. There's blood pouring out of holes. There's freaking dead outs getting chopped up with chainsaws. It's got everything you can ask for in an Evil Dead movie. So give me Evil Dead 2 at number one. Even the whole of the anatomy, man, uh, if you know what that freaking means. So, but anyways, uh, Brad, I respect that. And that's freaking awesome uh, that you have Evil Dead 2 as your number one. Uh, but my number one, it has to be the original, The Evil Dead from 1981, man. Um, just wow, what a movie that just pretty much created a whole horror genre by itself with the cabin genre of horror movies, man. And just the way of like the low budget with the low budget feel and what Sam Raimi and his crew had to do to make this movie not only scary but look great. It freaking did look great. Uh, I understand, like, over the years that the claymation part of things uh, did, doesn't look the greatest, but you just gotta imagine yourself back in the 80s. That's just a whole different time 
time period, you just get a whole different appreciation of what they were trying to do. But more importantly, of all this, the, uh, the Deadites, we didn't know what Deadites were during that time. They were just ultimately scary, especially just there are a lot of great jump scenes. You don't, you're just very just uncomfortable with the movies. So this franchise always leads back to the original. You gotta respect the original for what it was. So my number one is The Evil Dead. Oh, good pick, Bertie Ligurdi. I like it, man. That's it. That's the franchise. Let us know what you think about the, the, the freaking franchise, how you would rank it down below, of course. We'd whoa, 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 it. whoa, honky. Let me show you how the professional way is done. So, guys, what do you all think about the Evil Dead franchise? Do you agree with our list? If you think our list is terrible, our ranking is terrible, let us know the correct one, your opinion, in the comment section down below. So let's get that discussion rolling. Right you are. If you want to find a good reels, our links to our bios and all that stuff is right down there in the description. Not our bios, our socials and all that stuff's down there. Our well, Patreon. we can put our bios down there. We can even put a copy of the Necrocon in our description if they need it. Yeah, we can, we'll drop all that down below so you can take a gander at it right below. Absolutely. So until then, uh, that is it for our Evil Dead thoughts. And um, for anything else that comes out Evil Dead, we will cover it right then and there and do a more updated franchise ranking. But that is it for now, and we will see you all for the next video. No!